Good morning, Karen Scholl, Operations Section Chief with the Alaska Incident Management Team, here for your October 3rd briefing. We'll start over on the east side, uh, near Yola Boli Mountain. Uh, things remain the same as we discussed yesterday. Everything is holding, and we're feeling very good and confident with that. Uh, today's operations up near Red Mountain is to continue burning if the conditions are favorable, to continue burning and bringing fire down along the 35 road in order to tie it into the old buck fire from 2017. Uh, this will give us a good long anchor point that we can continue to push uh, towards the north and the east for containment. Along the 36 highway uh, last night in the corridor, crews tried to do a little bit of burning uh, just to to tighten it up, to have uh, what's on the road join the main fire. Uh, we're able to get about a 30 acre pocket burned out and then uh, kind of lost the window. So they were holding the road as this fire backs off Rattlesnake Ridge. It's coming down real slow and real nice. Uh, they're putting in some additional uh, dozer line, uh, whether it's check line or whether it's something that will hold remains to be seen, but they're working on tying another check line in today and uh, maybe slowing it down. And what we're trying to do is uh, not have to come all the way out to the corner, but uh, if we need to, we will. So uh, trying to just ease that through there. Um, up in uh, today, up in our division, um, India, continuing to work on the, the dozer line, prepping that as it comes across, tying some roads together into the South Trinity. Um, as well as trying to hang on to and stay as direct as possible along the fire's edge uh, just to minimize fire growth. Uh, let's see, over in uh, Hidden Valley, had crews in there uh, helping with the spot that had come across the, the minor drainage uh, that runs east and west uh, just south of uh, Hidden Valley. Things are looking good in there. We're getting hose put in, and uh, also we had engine crews in there um, making sure that was staying, staying put overnight, and it sounds like it did. Had no issues. Uh, also up in the north part of the, the fire, uh, crews are continuing to push dozers, um, opening up old lines and from previous fires as well as tying roads together to come up with another line that we would be able to utilize as a contingency if uh, the, the lines in front of that should fail. So they're continuing to push iron up, up to the north. Crews today along the 36 will be identifying, again, assessing and prepping uh, the values at risk um, ahead of the fire, the fire progression. So they'll continue to be in there working and assessing and uh, uh, implementing the supplies as they come in. Having a little bit of shortage of sprinkler kits. They're expected to come in uh, today or tomorrow, so we'll be putting those up as we receive them. Otherwise, they're doing other types of prep, like uh, removing fuels and, uh, and from around homes and limbing up and, and just making them more defendable for our folks to come in there if and when the time comes. Crews are looking at doing a little bit of firing off the 36 and, and uh, uh, South Fork Mountain Horse Ridge, trying to uh, kind of blacken the old picket fire. Fire does want to move through there. If you saw Chris yesterday, he was talking about that. This fire is not holding um, just due to the dryness of the fuels. So they're looking at uh, taking small chunks and burning at uh, appropriate times just to kind of blacken that up and get rid of the fine fuels and, um, and to clean up this corner. So look to see uh, some activity in this area, potentially just based on the conditions. On the other side of the ridge, coming into Ruth Lake West, we know fire has progressed under the canopy, uh, down off the ridge, it's now behind Journey's End. We've got crews in there um, with dozers and engines, as well as uh, um, crews on the boots on the ground, uh, watching that and uh, we'll be burning, burning out when necessary to keep the fire uh, from the bottom. And uh, we've also put in some check lines that are um, just ahead of the northward progression. So those check lines should hold any future, uh, well, at least uh, slow down anything future. Um, so we're continuing to monitor this and stay even with it and prep uh, northward through the valley as able. Down in Hettenshaw, uh, we had overnight, we had um, engine crews in and around uh, Hettenshaw, as well as the rest of uh, 
the Ruth Lake Valley, uh, just monitoring, putting out hot spots where, where they can see them, and uh, basically securing, securing what's already in there, uh, the fire's edge where it is. Also did a little bit of burning down by the Flying Devil A Ranch uh, to secure the structures down there and are uh, looking to, if they can, if able, pick up the fire's edge. But we do have some contingency lines down here that CAL FIRE 5 has, uh, has put in. So we've, we've got something uh, in there. And as you can see, uh, the fire as it uh, moved a couple days ago towards the south is basically kind of tying in with the previous burned area. So just looking to hold this and if all looking to hold this where, where it is or bring it down to the dozer lines that are in there. We have also have crews and uh, dozers today uh, pushing iron uh, from about Rainy Glades towards the southwest to tie into the Hettenshaw, sorry, the Van Dusen Road, taking the Van Dusen Road a little bit north and then tying in with some Cal Fire dozers that are coming from the west um, from uh, Goat Hill and Mule Ridge and they're pushing uh, towards each other. So today, hopefully, by the end of shift, we'll have this uh, tied in and we'll be able to use that as an indirect line and potentially burn that in the future. And also looking at picking up a fire's edge, if, if able, um, to kind of keep the fire a little bit in smaller. So that's kind of the overall um, activities for today. Uh, we're anticipating just poor air quality again today. Um, maybe a little bit of a north, northwest wind, probably not enough to really clear everything out. So not anticipating able to run any of our um, aircraft, but if we can, if we get an opening, we'll, we'll see what we can do with, uh, with aircraft. Um, Rowdy Bear up, uh, up in the north, you know, we're working on getting a contingency line up in front of you, but uh, you know, we're, we're well aware that you're there. Hey and Palm continue to work um, contingency lines in front of you guys. So uh, we know the communities are out there. You'll see a few extra communities identified. Uh, we are also aware of the other structures in the area. So these are just kind of place names to help our folks as they're out scouting and, and pushing, uh, pushing iron. So um, that's a little bit of a change today. And then uh, over in Wildwood, you know, we still are confident that this is holding. Uh, so just uh, you guys are being a heads up. You're kind of with Platina and uh, Wildwood, you're kind of squished between two fires. The Zog fire has containment on the southwest side of the fire. So things are looking good uh, with the team that's managing that. Um, and then Xenia and uh, Kent and Palm, um, you know, just know that we've got folks out here Working, Cal Fire was able to get up to the slop uh, north of Xenia, across the dozer line, and, and are working on that slop. Had better conditions yesterday, and we'll be out there today uh, making sure that the fire there stays, stays put. Um, again, this is a fuels-driven fire now, and when we get any kind of lifting and uh, any kind of fresh air come in, it, the fire is going to want to move. So don't expect that this fire is just sitting still. Uh, there may, again, be um, movement, in which case you'll be notified. But uh, th this fire's not over. We still have no relief in the, in the weather for at least the next week. Um, so we're just anticipating the fire to continue to move, and we're going to get in as close as we can or do some defensive burning as much as able uh, to, to keep the fire from moving too much. And I believe that's the end of my briefing, so you guys have a good day. Thanks.